kaha tato e mana tuku ho mai ano venu wa hau mako weru wa ora fai ato ara kite as a thumbnail and the title probably already gave away but <laughs> What a beautiful country. If you haven't seen last week's video, you should definitely go and check that out because whoa, what a trip I've made to come and get here. Especially to have to do that all by myself. But on the other hand, also so empowering that I made it through and I made it to the other side of the planet. So yay for me. But people often are kind of shocked when I tell them that I am traveling by myself. And it's not like I want to travel all by myself. I mean, I'm always like, I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. But then my friends are always like, No, no, wait. We do not want any adventures here. Thank you, not today. <laughs> not I'm just kidding. <laughs> they just have other things to do. And not having a travel buddy is not something that's gonna stop me from having these amazing adventures. And on the road, you meet so many people. So you're barely ever alone. Sometimes I even feel like I need a little bit more of just me time, especially in the hostel, because that's where I've been staying at these last couple of weeks. And wow, there is always people everywhere all the time. And one of the people that I got to meet was Yule. And together we ended up going to Hobbiton, which is an absolute must do when you're in New Zealand. Because for those of you who don't know, New Zealand is actually the country where Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit are filmed. And those were also some of the biggest hints that I gave in last week's video when I was trying to tease you on where I was going. But honestly, I'm getting carried away. Let's show you Hobbiton. So what did we just find out? I'm as tiny as a hobbit. <laughs> everyone's right. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Can I help you? I see the best part of the set. Oh my gosh! Yay! <laughs> so here's a fun fact about Hobbiton. They actually brew their own beer and cider and they only sell them there. And you actually get to try one at the Green Dragon, which is included in your ticket. Here it is! <laughs> And let me tell you, they are so good. How happy are you right now? Very. <laughs> Set to go.
unfortunately they only do guided tours at Hobbiton which is so sad because besides the fact that you're not by yourself you're actually with a group you also have a time limit and that is so sad because honestly I could have spent hours and hours there looking at all the details because wow there is so much thought being put into this every hobbit has a job or a hobby or something that is portrayed right there at their door and it is so well thought out absolutely beautiful it's so well kept i could have spent hours and hours and hours there to look at everything at the end of the trip you do get a little bit of free time to just roam around but well i could have stayed so much longer we had to run to get back to the bus in time <laughs> it has shoot run <laughs> we're late we took too many shots our exit out oh, here we are made it <laughs> we had to run over here <laughs> oh my gosh we did it honestly i loved it it is so cool to see everything from the movies in real life and luckily our trip was far from over because afterwards Yula and i actually went to the hamilton gardens and let me tell you that is the biggest garden i've ever been to wow I've been dreaming of and it is so beautiful to walk around there and see all the different gardens so because they have all these different cultural you. gardens and that's so cool like when you think of different cultures Just i usually think about food i never ever thought that gardens could be a cultural thing as well but now that i'm thinking about it it actually makes sense because literally all these gardens looked so completely different and they were so cool to see so absolutely loved it and it's free so How many kinds of sweet flowers grow in an English country garden? Are you loving it with all the people? No. <laughs> So after that, it was time to get back to the hostel. I've actually stayed at the hostel for quite a couple of weeks because I needed some time to recover from the trip that I've had. And I also needed some time to get settled and set up my bank account because, whoa, that took forever. And 
I actually ended up working at the hostel. So yay, got some money to spend. <laughs> and while I was there, I was actually planning on making a whole video about what hostel life is like, because if you have never stayed at a hostel, it can be quite scary, just the idea of a hostel, because you're literally sharing the bedroom, but not in a weird way. You actually, instead of paying for a room, you just pay for your bed. So you're literally in a room with 12 or more other people, depending on the size of the room that you pick, of course. But during those weeks, I was actually busy working on another project, which I will tell you more about next week, but that ended up taking so much more of my time. So I actually only got to film part of it but I still thought it would be cool to show you. I feel like I owe it to my friend because I actually gave the full tour of the hostel. Okay, I am so sorry about the lighting and the sound, but I am on my way to the hostel and I wanted to show you around because I've actually been working here for these last couple of weeks. And what better way to show you what hostel life is like than to actually show you around the hostel? Because no, it is nothing like the movie. <laughs> Let's go inside. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is the video that you took in your <laughs> He's been dying for me to make this video. <laughs> Meet Fred. Where are you from? I'm from France. From France. So you want a tour? I want, I would love a tour. A tour, okay, so. You have to film this. This is the house rules. The house rules. Yeah. Okay, so very important. I show it for the video. Quiet because I time. Didn't show it before. Okay. <laughs> if you arrive and you are new in Auckland, we make some board. So with a oh. lot of thematic. So this is the board of, for example, the food, and yeah. we uh, report everything for help guests to choose the right place to go, the right to things go to do, to eat. And to drinks. And to drink as Very well. Very important. Very important. Pub, club. But what if you want something just to do? Oh, just to do. It's all so, right thing here. Right there. Yeah. And <laughs> if you don't want specific thing, just ask to me. <laughs> you got the lady bathroom. The over bathroom. Here. Yeah. The laundry room available from 4 p.m. because now it's a mess and it's the oh, hostel. All the laundry of the hostel, hostel needs to be done. Exactly. So you can do your laundry in the hostel. Yeah, exactly. The guy bathroom. Yeah, yep. And on the left, the central place of the hostel, the kitchen. The kitchen. So what are all these boxes about? Oh, this box. This is the guest box. And if you want new chicken in, you can take one box on the top, label with your name. Uh -huh. Ah, a little bit shy with your camera. That's, <laughs> <Yeah>. all. <laughs> That's all right, just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. So, you want me to make the turn by this way or by this way? Either way. Okay, this way. Let's show the kitchen first. Yeah. <laughs> so, you got Jay, cleaner. He's okay, cleaning kitchen. everything. It looks big and span, man. Yeah. No dishes whatsoever. So yeah, what important I say to the guests is do your dishes. <laughs> if you like SpongeBob, wash, dry, store. We are always watching. <laughs> no, he isn't. Everybody gets away with it. <laughs> okay. Here you got the TV room. Nice. Wow. And when it's uh, really, really crowded, you can pass on this room if you want to chill. Oh, wait, this is the chill room. Hi. Uh, hi, Lilian. This is for you too. Oh. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> you will be famous one day. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> so yeah, this is more the quiet room. So if you want yeah. to pass a phone call or read a book or do whatever you want, well, not all what you want. Read a book, play a game. Yeah. I see lots of games right there. I see so many things in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I will not say what. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have a deck. Yeah, we got a deck with a balcony. Some people play cards, especially the weekend. This is yeah. the place when you 
socialize. The social place, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Name one hostel essential. Mine would be flip flops, probably. Flip flop. Mm. Oh yeah, for the shower. Or in the yeah, shower. That's, that, that, that's yeah. A great no, point. if you like share a room, mine would be like something you can hang on your bed. So you oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So a blanket or a big towel. And a spray like a perfume for the if you are in a big big dorm because you never know your neighbors. <laughs> Airplugs. Yeah. 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 This hostel was so fun. And because I was working there, you really get close with the other staff members, which was so fun. And it became an absolute challenge to live off of the free shelf. At the end, everybody was calling Monday shopping day because that's when the fridges got cleaned up with all the food that people had left behind so they don't go bad. So that is when we were stacking up on free food and I love the challenge of making food from just the stuff that I have. And I came up with so many unique recipes, which was so fun. Look at all the stuff that I've made. Honestly, there's so many more things, but I only took pictures of the ones that were 100% free. The other ones, usually you had to buy some stuff, but yeah, the free shelf, it's a real thing in hostels. Often people, when they travel, they just want to leave their food because it's just another thing to carry, basically. So you get free food. Yay! And honestly, probably the biggest thing that people are scared about is that they have to share their room, like you're sleeping in the same room with other people. But honestly, that is so much fun. Everybody is in the same situation, so that makes it so much easier. It can be a bit overwhelming, but usually you'll find that people are so nice and it's such a great way to meet people. Like, the hostels are so social, like it's the most social place that you could stay at really. This house was the first time when I was actually like, lights were out and I was still chatting to my roomies, <laughs> which was so fun. Shout out to you, Ellie and Joe. And the cool thing is you literally meet people from all over the world. I literally have friends from Mexico, China, France, Canada, South Africa, Argentina. It's crazy. It is so cool. So let me know if you would be open for staying at a hostel. I would love to know that. Or if you would like to have some more information, please feel free to ask me anything. I will gladly respond and share you my experiences. And yeah, let me know if you're actually interested in a full video of what hostel life is like. But honestly, a different type of traveling is coming up because the project that I've been working on has succeeded and I can't wait to show you and tell you all about it. So I hope I get to see you next week to show you my new pride and joy. And until then, love always, adventure often. Bye guys. Mwah. Big reveal.